The Little Black Sheep by Chris Vaughn Canel. Little White Sheep lived on Farmer Bojo's farm. He lived there with his father, mother, brother, and sister. Little White Sheep loved his family and his home very much. When he was five years old, Little White Sheep went to school for the first time. He was very excited. Little White Sheep made a lot of friends in Lamber Garden in first grade. At first he thought it was a bit odd that his friend Goat liked to say, nah, nah, instead of bah, bah, and that his friend Pig didn't have any wool. But now they were the best of friends. Then it was time for the three friends to begin second grade. The school year started off great. Little White Sheep loved his new teacher in class. That is, until one Monday morning when a new student joined their class. It was another sheep, but this sheep was different. He was mean. When Little White Sheep tried to talk to him at recess, the Little Black Sheep ignored him. He turned his back on Little White Sheep and walked away. Now what did I do? thought Little White Sheep. Later at lunch, Little White Sheep tried again. Excuse me, he said. Do you want to sit with me and my friends? Sit with you? I would never sit with a white sheep, said the little black sheep. Little white sheep was shocked, and he didn't understand. On the way back to the farm that day, little white sheep thought about the new student and what he had said. So what if his wool was white? All of the sheep on his farm had white wool. He must have done something wrong, but he just could not figure out what. So he decided to try again the next day. And so he did. The next day, the teacher told the class they could do their math in groups. Little White Sheep again went up to Little Black Sheep and asked if he would like to work with him and his friends. Again, the Little Black Sheep said, No, I would never work with a White Sheep. When Little White Sheep asked him why, he said he looked funny, smelled funny, and walked funny. Little White Sheep was very hurt because he had never heard such ugly words before. Sadly, he went back to his group of friends but didn't tell them a thing. Little White Sheep didn't try to talk to the Little Black Sheep anymore until one Friday when he was walking home and he saw the Little Black Sheep all alone and crying. He went over to the Little Black Sheep and asked him why he was crying. The Little Black Sheep told him that he was crying because he had no friends. Then the Little Black Sheep turned to Little White Sheep and angrily yelled, Go away! Leave me alone! Little White Sheep did just that. He walked home deep in thought. Hmm, what should I do? That little black sheep has been so mean to me and everyone else. Why should I feel sorry for him? But Little White Sheep did feel sorry for him. And after a whole week in thinking it over, he decided to help the little black sheep, no matter how mean he was. So on Monday, Little White Sheep talked to his two best friends, Goat and Pig. He explained what had happened on his way home on Friday with the little black sheep. He then told them that he thought they should give the little black sheep one more chance and that they should talk to him together. Finally, Goat and Pig agreed to help little white sheep. At recess, the three friends went up to the little black sheep and told him they would like to be his friends, but only if he agreed not to say mean and hurtful things anymore. The little black sheep just stood there looking at them, saying nothing. Finally, the little black sheep said very slowly, Okay, I guess I can try being friends with you, and I promise to be nice to others because I really think you are all nice, and it hurts when no one wants to be your friend. From that day on, little black sheep, goat pig, and little white sheep were the best of friends. All of them always remembered to treat others kindly, just the way they wanted to be treated. Just as importantly, Little White Sheep learned to never give up and to be nice to others no matter how they treat you.